Today, what I want to do is walk you through ClickFunnels. And I want to create a membership site on ClickFunnels. So you'll see here, this is going to be a sticky teaching one. I'm just going to create a new funnel. Now, I don't have to do much, right? Because they already have this notion of a membership template. And now I just have to pick what's going to be the membership access. What's the, the register uh, approach? And so I'm going to create that by picking one of these templates. So I pick the template. It's going to do all the design for me. It's going to even create it at a URL. It's going to have basically everything set up. And what I get to do is then say, okay, I need to edit this, right? I need to go in and just, you know, I need to make it a little prettier, uh, tweak it or whatever. So I'm going to go into it by saying, let's go edit, open it in the editor. And when I do, it's going to load it up and you'll see it's pretty much done. And yet, Every place that I'm dragging over, I have the ability to edit. So I'll come down here to the bottom and I'm going to edit the uh, name of this thing because it's going to be stickyteaching.com. So I want to change that because I don't want to just say your brand. Um, and you'll notice as I, as I roll over the mouse, it keeps lighting up, right? Every one of these areas is a place I can tweak. So I'm going to come up to the logo section. Right now for today, I don't want to do a logo. So I'm going to just, I'm going to click it. Um, and let me go back to this. Notice that I'm seeing, okay, this is the main image. So I'm just going to delete the image. And now I'm going to add my own element. And look at all the elements that appear, right? I got lots of them, but I'm going to pick the headline. I'm going to add it right to that page. And then I'm going to click it. I'm going to put in sticky teaching as the title. And so as I type this in, I can already tell, oh, wait a minute, this is not in white and I want it white. So I'm going to go up to this little gear, right? And when I go to the gear, I'm going to click it and out pops up the whole set of options to change it. All I want to do is change the, uh, the color. So I'm going to make it white and I'm going to close that. And you'll see, I have a, I have an exit on the bottom right here and, uh, well, first I'll save it and then I'm going to come over to the exit and I'm going to close out this page. Now you and I could totally spend hours changing this up, making it prettier and all that, but we want to move right to the next section, which is the membership area. Now, this isn't really, ClickFunnels calls it a funnel, and it, the truth is it's not very, very funnel-ish, right? Because all I have to do is pick a particular template, and the same thing's going to happen, only now it's going to give me a little more structure because this is the, um, the content area, right? And so you'll see this is called the membership area. This is my protected area here. And, uh, and what I want to do is create lessons, right? So for every one of these lessons, I can... I can create, you know, step one, step two, step three, and create these, uh, create these lessons, right? Um, and so first I need to go out and, and remember what my lesson was called. So I'm going to head over to Vimeo because that's where I've created all my videos for the Sticky Teaching uh, membership site. And I'm going to log in over here. Go into my videos. You'll see here, the when I go to my videos, I see my other videos for my membership huddle product. But I'm going to scroll down, get to another page somewhere here. Yep, here it is, Sticky Teaching. And I see it's called Starts and Stops. So that's what I need. So I'm going to name this Starts and Stops. And, uh, and, and I, can get to I can even pick the page template, which in this case is I'm showing off a video lesson, right? So uh, I'm all set. I don't need to drip this, though you could. Oh, and I see here, right, as do demos do, uh, I need an actual uh, container. So that's why you have that lesson section. So I'm just going to call these the videos, right, because um, these are the video lessons. I'm going to save that. And the moment I do that, of course, I can go back and do what I was doing, which is I can create in that container, I can create these steps, right? And so the first step is, of course, starts and stops. And I can pick it's a video lesson. I don't need a drip and I can hit create lesson. And the moment I do, I've created one of my sections, right? Now I can do the same thing that we were doing before. I can open that up so I can take a look at it. And what you're going to see here is it's already preset for you as well. So now I can change this text. I keep double clicking it. So let's go in and see if I can get it right to adjust it. Every time I select it, I do this wrong. So let's double click it. Oh, let's start there. Yeah, one starts and stops. And I can name it. You can see I have a lot of control over that. I have control over this guy here. Um, and I have control over this text, which now I'm going to give you uh, kind of an assignment. Like, you know, now that you've watched this video, what do you do next? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to describe your next steps here. And uh, you'll see below here that I have 
the ability to download this video or download uh, PDFs, right? And I don't, I don't want, uh, I don't have anything for you to download in this particular course. It's just uh, a set of videos. And so what I'm going to do is as I finish this up, I'm going to go to this section and I'll just, I'll just delete it. Now, if you've never done this before, you'll, as you roll your mouse over, you'll discover that, um, that, you know, these, all these different, uh, containers, these little divs, uh, have IDs and names. And, uh, and sometimes you're just trying to figure out, okay, which are the, which are the right ones? Um, before I do that, let me go in and put my video in place. And, uh, so I'm going to go back over to this section, go to my video, go get my embed link, which Vimeo gives me nice and easy. There's the embed tab. And uh, I click on get embed code and I have it all right there. So I'm going to take this code and I'm going to drop it back into the section, which I can do. And uh, well, actually, there is a video type here, which I think is going to have Vimeo in it. Yep. And if I do now, I only need the Vimeo URL. I don't need the actual embed code. So let me go back up over here and get just the URL of the video. I can do that. And uh, once I have that, I can put that in the same place. And uh, you'll see I have options, right? The auto off and putting in dimensions. I don't need any of that. Uh, so I'm good here now. I have basically set, uh, I've set this video for the lesson. So you will, you will be playing. Uh, it, it will play. And uh, oh, I didn't mean to hit close. I just meant to hit save. So let's open this up again. Okay, let's stay on this page, all right? And uh, here's a section that I was telling you I don't want, so I can delete. Now it looks like I'm deleting. Yeah, I only deleted the little part. I want to delete the whole thing. No, that's not the right guy. No, it's the whole thing. There you go. Kill that guy. Yep. And now we're set, right? And I could add in more rows, I could do more things, but the truth is I'm, uh, I'm set with that lesson. And you can now do this for several lessons and you'll be set up with a video course in no time using ClickFunnels.